Hello folks. I wanted to go out today into Fredericksburg, the town where I live in Virginia, and I wanted to find what's actually radioactive around me. Just see what I could find, like a spot check. Not not a detailed analysis of anything, but if I find anything interesting, I might go back and give it a detailed analysis later. Well, actually, I'm lying. I'm lying horribly. I've already actually done all of it. I have all of the videos on my computer, and I'm about to assemble them into an actual video for you. So in reality, I'm taking this video after I'm already done doing what it is that I was going to do in the first place. So this is in the future, What you're about to see is the past. So it's like a time machine and time travel, but not really, because of course time travel, well, time travel does exist. It's so, sort of. I mean, you have these things called Lorenz contractions, which are your time multiplied by 1 over the square root of velocity squared times the speed of, divided by the speed of light squared. Uh, minus one, I think. That's all time ahead. But anyway, the point is, um, I did find some stuff. I found a little tiny bit of radioactive stuff, and I apologize for the fact that um, I didn't spend a lot of time on the video. The reason is I was in a store, and I was looking really shifty, and this guy came to me and asked me, like, weird questions, and I showed this woman. I was like, this is in the shop you work in. <laughs> so anyway, I thought you might take a light, uh, t uh, that you might like it. And I'm going to take a black light in a little bit and throw it up against my uh, um, Vaseline glass and see if it glows. But that's maybe for another video for another time. Watch. Maybe you'll find it interesting. Maybe you won't. Who knows? It could be a conspiracy. All right, folks. First stop is my apartment. <clears throat> As you can see, the brick of my apartment in itself is radioactive. I'm sure I've shown you this before, but I always get a kick out of it. My background is usually 14 counts per minute, give or take. My brick, however, is, well, we're at 25 counts per minute. This is probably thorium or uranium. That's fine. Let's see what I get off the floor here, because now I get the concrete and the brick. It was only 20. And even though I think it's uranium, I can't be sure, or thorium, so and they have different decay energies, so I have to use counts per minute. There's a good piece. Nothing amazing, but still interesting. Things like brick contribute a rather large amount to the amount of radiation people are exposed to on a yearly basis. Of course, a timed long count would be required to really know anything from this. I'm just spot checking, which isn't really that big of a deal. This is perfectly safe. I live in this apartment, so I'm obviously not terribly worried about it. Well, anyhow, something neat to look at. Well, this is uh, Tom from anti-proton.com, and I'm moving on to the next thing. Here I am getting coffee. I'm at the coffee shop and I'm also at 8 counts per minute. 8 counts per minute at the coffee shop. 9 counts per minute, which is absolutely nothing. Oh my god, a rounding error. Oh, I guess my coffee's safe. Alright, here I am in downtown Fredericksburg looking for radiation. Got a low count right this moment. Here's my car. There's me in the car. Hello. And as you can see, there's only a few tall buildings in the whole town. Most of everything is brick. So my rating should get pretty high from the brick, if nothing else. I'm only at 10 and 11 right this moment, which is no big deal. Alright, if we examine the brick, let's see what we get. Hmm, guess that brick doesn't have anything amazing in it. This brick isn't too amazing either. Um, since we've so far failed, let's see what we can find of interest. Uh, well, let's see. All right, folks. I'm here outside of a brick wall in 
well, sunny, uh, not so sunny, Fredericksburg, Virginia. And as you can see, I am reading in the high 20 counts per minute off a of brick. Oh, there's a good piece. Nice. Look at that. Nice, probably thorated brick, most likely. Although there's no way to know. Whew. Man, this guy right here is a winner. Let's see if that goes through, this, through the sidewall. No? So that's alpha. And if that's alpha, it's probably thorium or uranium. It's probably a very small speck of it, too. Whoa, look at that go. It's not very high. It's significantly higher than one would expect to find off of a random piece of brick. Listen to that tick, 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 tick. <laughs> well, we'll chalk that up as uranium or thorium, most likely, although there's no way to know for sure. Let's see what else we find. Hello, folks. As I walk along through Fredericksburg, besides a good radioactive brick, I find some interesting street art. <laughs> Very interesting. Little starry night. I guess they're still working on it. They have like a little website and everything. Interesting. Well, we'll see what we find as we move down the street. Hey, right, folks. I'm in. Uh, Historic Fredericksburg, and I'm getting readings of 16 counts per minute, perfectly normal. Behind me is the Old Town Square, and as you can see, 14 counts point, 14 counts, nothing major. Still getting a little bit off the brick. Yeah, so I can get it, maybe, maybe not. Uh, nothing much to worry about so far. This next part you're about to see is my Vaseline glass uh, encounter. I went into a store that's just freaking full of Vaseline glass and depression glass and all kinds of other radioactive glass. It mostly contains uranium and it's actually pretty safe. Even though it's putting off, you know, like, oh my god, radiation, but it's, it's pretty safe, actually. I already showed you I own a piece. Um, I'm thinking about going back and buying a single piece of it, just one piece of it that might be nice. Um, it's really just god-awful, beautiful glass. God, it's so nice looking, except that it's radioactive, which is a problem. But anyway, uh, if you go to Fredericksburg, uh, if you go to Fredericksburg, uh, um, Virginia, you can find a, apparently enough Vaseline glass to fill a truck. So if that's what you want, come here and get it. Oh my God! Tell them Tom, the crazy guy with the with the Geiger counter, sent you. There's a piece of Vaseline glass right there, 28, 29 counts per minute, 31, 33, right in the middle of the store, 36, 39, 44, 47, 52, 58. That's uranium. I mean, it would do the trick, but it's beautiful. Nice. Note to self when next time in this shop, buy Vaseline glass. There's truckloads of it. Truckloads of Vaseline glass. But anyhow, note to self. Alright, for whatever reason, I get unexplained higher readings here. When I walked through this place, I got 25. No real explanation as to what's causing it. Kinda neat. Random hot spot for no particular reason. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Even science has to stop for a haircut. Here's me now. This is the size of my hair now. See? It comes out to about right there. I have to get a haircut. Because of where I work, they already don't like that I have long hair. 
I probably get away with it because I'm like, you know, the science guy with the big whiteboard and the dry erase markers and the math and physics and all that sort of stuff. But um, even that has a point. And I think I'm reaching that point with them where even though I wear the suit and the tie and the whole nine yards, I think they're just not dealing very well with the long hair. So I'm going to go get a haircut. Besides, I've been exposed to uranium glass today. What better way to finish it off with a haircut? While I'm inside this hardware store, I'm going to look for thoriated welding rods. I don't know if they still use them or not. I could be like a moron that's looking for something that's been discontinued for like 20 years. But mm, whatever, I've never looked for them for, uh, before. Um, I know they don't have uh, 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 lantern mantles that have thorium in them anymore, which is unfortunate. I was going to look and see if I could find one, but uh, they might have the welding rods. I guess I'll find out if I'm an idiot or not, and if you don't see any more about this in my video, it's because I found out I was an idiot, so we'll find out. Bye-bye. Hello, folks. If you're wondering why my hair looks like crap, it's because I went to the barber to get it cut. Uh, the woman that's there, um, I thought she was the same one that was really bad with it before, and she was. Um, she, this side's a little bit long, a little bit shorter than this side. She only cut, like, this little tiny bit off. I need to go someplace else and get my hair cut. The woman tears the hair out of my head. I didn't recognize her. I thought it might be her, but I didn't want to, you know, tell her no just because of the fact that I thought it might be her, and it turns out it was her. So, you know, that just tells me to go someplace else. Apparently, they're, it's just going to be terrible. Anyway, my background right now is 14 counts per, well, 15, 14 counts per minute, somewhere in there. Nothing much. 12. It's no big deal. Um, I got five while I was in the mall. Five. That's nothing whatsoever. So apparently Fredericksburg is pretty safe minus the brick and the antique shops which are full of uh, uranium filled glass. God, it's bright out here. Anyway, so uh, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and uh, we'll see what else we can find later. Bye bye. Alright folks. I'm going to end my, my not so good day with some new salt. I bought the new salt, which I put some right here on this little piece of paper, right there at the grocery store. Wegmans, my favorite grocery store. I also have this bottle of water, because I went by Sheets and got myself some food, too. Now, as you can see, when I take my Geiger counter and put it over top of the um, uh, light salt here, it should start picking it up a little. Oh, I don't have the audio on. That would explain it. There it is. I don't know if you can even read it. But it looks to me like 1918. Now what you're saying, wait Tom, these are micro sieverts. I thought you said not to use micro sieverts when doing measurements because you don't know the energy. Well, I do know the energy. In this case, if you look at my calculator right here, I know that uh, that the approximate discharge, there's two different types, the decay of modes anyway of potassium 40, and that's in this light salt that I got at the grocery store, is about uh, 1350 kilo electron volts. And I divided that into 661 kilo electron volts that I get off of cesium-137 gamma, which is what my device is referenced with. And that comes out to this, 1350 over 661. Let me hit the S to D button here and turn that into scientific notation. And as you can see, that is a 2, approximately 2 for the conversion factor. So what I do is I take this microceiver amount I'm seeing here and I double it. So 0.207. Well, 0.2 microsieverts in this case would be 0.4, because I'm com I, I am now calculating for potassium 40, which I can of course do because I know the conversion factor. Yay for conversion factors! Yay for math! Yay! So 16 is, th is 32, uh, 28, you know, 0.32 again. The micro that's the uh, approximate reading I'm getting off the potassium salt. Now, that's a little bit not true, because I'm not taking into account, for example, background. I should zero this out first, which, of course, I can't really do, because this isn't like an old CDV 700. But if I did, then I could tell you for sure what I'm getting. But anyway, and of course, I can put it in counts per second, which is the SI version of counts per minute. But counts per second sucks, because you'll never find anything. I mean, this has to be, like, up against uranium or something to find counts per second. So let me shut the Geiger counter off. Push the button here, cut it back on again, and go into menu, and then change myself. Come on, come on. Where's the button? There. Change myself back to counts per minute. 
There we go. Now we're in counts per minute again. All right. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, the food that I'm eating right here, let me pop this up. Why the hell do they put that on? This beautifully wonderful, tasty um, uh, piece of food right here that I'm eating, plus these fries that I'm eating down here that I put some uh, radioactive light salt in just for the hell of it, um, are probably tremendously worse for me than the radiation I'm getting off of this or the radiation I've been exposed to today, i.e. the, the uh, 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 glassware. So all in all, not too much. Fredericksburg turns out to be pretty low in radiation, as one might expect, except for, of course, maybe a light salt. And light salt itself is so weak that if I put the container up to the, um, see, it's in there. If I put it up to the um, Geiger counter, I'm just not getting anything, because the actual container on the outside of the Geiger counter is blocking a good portion of it. Not all. You get a little bit, but not much. So anyway, let me shut this. This has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and we'll see um, see what I can find next week. Alrighty, well, bye bye. And so that concludes my video. I hope you all found it kind of interesting. Maybe not. I'm hoping to go uh, mine some minerals out of various places later on, and perhaps I'll be able to show you some better videos with better minerals and things in the future. But anyway, this has been Tom from anti-proton.com. Bye bye.